Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for being here early. Hey. What's up? Woohoo. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go live on Facebook. Let's see if this mm -hmm. is right. Let's see. Just so everyone knows, we will be streaming live to the Remax Integra US page. Please like it, check it out. And they're trying to promote third party apps to me for some reason. I don't know what's happening here. That's funky. Don't put third party ads. No, I don't want that. <laughs> so let me see if this will let me do what I need to do. I want to go live. Check that your stream is connected. That's right. Uh, Wait a minute, I might want to redo this. Yeah, I'm not seeing it live. Okay, hold on. Let's try again. Technical difficulties. That's right. We're like a TV station. It's always something. I think we're uh, just had to refresh a little bit. All right. We need one of those uh, bear with us during these uh, technical problems. <laughs> Some background music playing. We do. With the, the Mac sad face. No doubt. All right, let's try this. Just needed to refresh, I guess. I'm a little concerned about what invaded my screen here, though. That's not good. <laughs> Hello, everybody that's came in. Yeah. We're getting everything rolling. We're going to have some fun here in a minute, I promise. That's right. Tell us where you're tuning in from, everyone. Where are they all coming from, Jeremy? I don't know. I'm in the chat here. I'm just looking, but I'm not seeing anybody yet talking to me. Oh, there we go. Houston, Cincinnati. Hey, that's insane. That's like right down the road. Oh, well, up the road, I guess I could say. I'm in Lexington, Kentucky, so that's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. That's right. Rhode Island, New Hampshire. Look at that. Wisconsin. Blue Earth. That's a cool name. Katy, Texas. I've actually been to Katy, Texas. That's right. Yeah. And thanks, Jeremy, by the way, for promoting this on the group on Facebook. We welcome we everyone that. from all over in Remax. Hey, we're all this thing together. We're going to figure this thing out together. That's the game plan overall. That we are. That we are. Connecticut. Sweet. All right. Well, we are live on Facebook and we are now at start time. So I know we have several people that'll be flowing on here in just a moment. So welcome to our weekly Building Your Business with Booj series. Welcome everyone. My name is Michelle Hoyt and I am a regional trainer for Remax Integra US, which is an independent region of Remax. I know we have a lot of you joining us from other Remax regions and we give you a big warm welcome. So we know that um, this has been I think since last Monday when all the events occurred that we've all been following and some have been directly and indirectly affected by it. We are pressing forward as a real estate industry. We are an essential business. You know, however, I do want to say that both Jeremy and I are sending out the utmost peace and positivity and support as we know some of you have had to have some pretty tough conversations with your clients about what's going on and also, it's, you know, your children and, and a lot of other things that are happening. So we, you know, we have, we come to you with lots of Remax love and we appreciate you being here and uh, moving forward each day. So Jeremy. You know, one thing I love about Remax guys is the power that we are connected. And, you know, I've been part of other larger real estate organizations and they just don't have that. So, you know, I, I want to just, you know, jump aboard with Michelle and say, guys, you know, my prayers are with you guys. My, my, I'm sending as much love as I possibly can. I know there's certain, there's so many situations you guys deal with on a daily basis that no one knows about. And so uh, there's individual conversations. You know, if there's anything we can do to give support, you know, obviously, I think that's what the industry is for. That's what Remax is for. Um, you know, we hear you and, uh, you know, we're here for those conversations. So I love that, Michelle. Great, great, great point. Thank you, Jeremy. And uh, for the for everyone that's on, we are streaming live on Facebook on the Remax Integra US page. If you'd like to visit us there, welcome to that audience and welcome to the Zoom audience also. And um, I just wanted to quickly mention that the last three days, some of you may have been doing this as well. Jeremy and I have both been attending the Inman Connect Live event that's been going on in our industry. It's kind of jumping in and out. It's been an, um, a whole new approach because it was a virtual conference. 
And I can tell you that there are worldwide, the real estate leaders that have been jumping on and speaking in all these different sessions there, you know, they're sending a lot of love our way to the US, but this, this has become a global movement, what's going on in the US and they are being very supportive and it was just nice to see that. So Jeremy, you probably saw the same thing. Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm going to let our special guest introduce himself, but I just want to quickly mention that we are hosting you today and we have a very specific topic. It's about getting your Bouge website ready for video and getting it looking good. And there's a lot of ways to go about that. So we're excited to share with you all kinds of things in the next hour. So Jeremy, please introduce yourself sure. and what you're all about. And we're going to take a path and, and take you all on a journey today. All right, guys. So my name is Jeremy Collins. I'm actually the marketing technology director at Rematch Creative right here in the central part of the Bluegrass in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, we've got several offices here that we operate and run. Uh, but the uh, the big key, guys, my heart is to help agents. And it, it's always, that's what it always has been. You know, I actually run a booze group on Facebook. Uh, we started it, I don't know, it was a couple months ago, maybe back in November, I don't know, late, late year last year. And uh, I think we have almost 5,000 Remax agents on that page. So let me invite you, if you're not part of that page, uh, I want to invite you into that page. Just search Booge on Facebook and you'll see the group pop up. And, uh, you know, uh, if, if I like you, I'll accept you. Joking, I, I will accept you, I promise. Uh, just put your information in and uh, we'll, that's where we're doing lots of training. And um, so we've also started a, I've recently started a level up program guys, just to help individual agents with their struggles. Um, so I'm here, we're excited. I'm talking about video today. Me and Michelle's diving into something I'm very passionate about. Um, ever since I started here three years ago with Remax, my heart, I mean, I built a, a green screen studio here in the office. I'm all about video and my agents, they probably get sick of me sometimes talking about video. Hey, you brought me a drink, thank oh, you. <laughs> I got a drink, sorry. Uh, and so, you know, video guys is what I'm, I'm, I think Michelle and I are gonna dive into this thing and try to break it down. And, you know, the real key guys is hopefully by the end of this, this message, we're all gonna think, we're gonna shoot video now. We're not just gonna talk about it, we're actually going to do it. And we're gonna give tons of tips throughout this workshop guys to kind of give you some um, backing reasons why you should do it, right? All right, Michelle, the game is on. All right, thank you, we are rolling. So. I've got just got a couple of slides to show you throughout this and um, there is something askew when you try to go in full presentation mode and you're streaming Facebook Live. So sorry for the way it looks, but we're going to go ahead and share some pretty cool content with you. So as you know, we're talking about what to do to get ready for your websites. We cannot stress enough, Jeremy and I both feel very strongly about the videos that the Remax LLC training team has put on Remax University. So please make sure you're going there. We know, we had a discussion right before this, we know all of you are overwhelmed by Bouge because every day there's something new, there's all these shiny objects. Take it as it comes, Take, learn it as you go. I mean, if whatever works for you, but there's some really great content on here where you can watch a seven minute video on how to do something in the CRM. Same thing with the website. So pay attention to these, watch these. The team there has done an outstanding job Absolutely. of getting these videos provisioned here for you. They just recently added learning tracks. If you're newer to Remax and you don't, work, don't know where to start, check out these learning tracks. These will get you down the right path and you can follow these in succession as they're listed here. So just wanna stress that. What I love about this new uh, university real quick, what I love about it is, is they took our advice and they said, okay, what do agents want? They want individualized, smaller pieces of content. They don't want to watch 30 minute videos anymore. They want to get the answer quick. And so that's what they've done guys. They've actually built this library with quick answers, anywhere from four to seven minute videos to give you your answer. So if you visit there before, you need to go visit there again, because you're <laughs> going to see a whole new content strategy there. Um, you can quickly search up there in that little search bar. You can quickly search for what you're looking for and it hopefully it'll pop up. That's the goal. Uh, so I can't stress enough. University teams kick some butt with this thing and really made some advancements. Definitely. So thanks for that. So we're going to talk about a lot and what, what type of video content to put on your site, but both Jeremy and I cannot stress enough that you can have the best looking website out there with the most awesome high quality content out there, but no one's ever going to see it if you don't promote your own website. No one else will promote your website but you, okay? So think about that. 
that's your virtual storefront. That's how you promote yourself. That's how you show your legitimacy in the business and with Remax. So how do you promote your site? Do not forget to update all of your profiles that are out there and online, especially if you just got a brand new custom domain or you want to use the assigned domain that Remax gave you, which is your username.remax.com. All of these places that are listed here is where you can promote your site. You can even make a big deal out of this when you get your site the way you want it to really put a social post out there. Notice these graphics here. These are actually on Photofy, everyone. It actually says what you see here. Stop, check out my new site. This would be an awesome post to do on both Instagram and on Facebook where you can direct people like in the yellow. Here's an, here's an example of a script you could use. I've been working on a brand new site. Take a look at it. Here it is. It's like you're pulling back the curtain, announcing it to everyone, right, Jeremy? No, what we've been doing is I'm going to give you a tip here, guys. It's something that's worked great for some of our agents is, you know, you know, social media, right? People want to give their opinions. That's the point of the social media, right? You know, as we scroll through, if you go to your Facebook right now, you scroll, you're going to see opinion after opinion after opinion after opinion. Some good, some bad, some ugly. So what we've done is we're telling our agents when they launch their brand new website, right? It's good. It's ready to go. Uh, even if it's not perfect, you can still put it out there because you're getting leads that way. You know, say stuff like this. Uh, hey, check out my brand new website. Do me a favor, because once people like to do people favors, do me a favor and try to create an account on there and then try to save some searches. You're giving them tasks to do. And then you can actually follow up with them later on, but it gives them, give them tasks, you know, give them something to do. For one, if they create an account on your website, it allows them to choose you as a preferred agent. Now, preferred agent is a key word. Michelle, you know, tell me a little bit about preferred agent. What does that mean? So preferred buyer's agent, everyone, it's a PBA. You've heard this term a lot. It's the first we heard of it last year when Bouge launched. What's really cool about this is that, so there's, you can be a preferred buyer's agent. You're the chosen one on Remax.com where they go there and they choose to work with you as an agent. But here's the thing about your own website. Any, any person that goes to your own website, it has no bearing on whose listing it is, where it's located or anything, or if they have a PBA on Remax.com, if they go to your website, that's your lead. Okay. Now let's say this again, guys, because that's, a, that's one of those, this is amazing feature with Booge. You know, mm -hmm. this, this is where you could change the game as an individual agent. You know, your website is yours, meaning your leads coming into your website. It doesn't matter if I've got the listing and I'm, you know, they look at my property on your website. It doesn't matter. They, you get the lead. So you got to think about this could be a massive lead generation strategy just for you. So if you're building out these different lead generation pockets, your website should be a major component to that. It definitely should. So, um, but again, we just can't stress enough that you've got to start promoting it, getting it out there and talking about it and make sure that you keep talking about it because it's going to be one of those marketing strategies. It's a long-term payoff. Just because you put a post out there doesn't mean you'll get a lead and you'll convert it right away. It's part of your overall marketing strategy. So let's kind of jump right into this. So we're going to talk a little bit about video because I think a lot of you are still, after all these years of talking about video, still not quite sure what to do, where to start. Maybe so we're going to give you some quick tips because Jeremy, like he's like me, he's a video nerd. Love video. I love this stuff. So he's going to give you some quick tips and some things to do to get started, how to shoot your video and even some gadgets. So Jeremy, take it away. All right, guys. So here's the deal. You know, there is so much we can do with video, but I really want you guys to get to the nuts and bolts here of just getting started. Right. So you know, obviously, I'm going to talk, we're going to dive into this, Michelle, about uh, portrait versus landscape. It's kind of the, the question I get asked all the time, right? And I'd say at least once a day, I'll scroll through Facebook, and I will watch a portrait mode tour, video tour of a home. And my first initial reaction is, flip the video, right? I, I just, I want to scream at them, because honestly, our eyes are built that way. You know, we're, our eyes are horizontal. We want to flip the phone horizontal. It just works. Now, look, is, am I saying always do horizontal? No. What I'm saying, though, is 90, maybe 80% of the time, horizontal video is what you want to do. Uh, if you want to mass use your content over and over and over and over, that's what you want to do. Take your phone and you flip it. If you're using any video app that you have on your phone, guys, it automatically flips the screen for you. 
So you turn it and it will flip it to the right direction it wants to go. So I think that's a crucial piece you're, that may even, I mean, honestly, I would not sit and watch more than five seconds, 10 seconds of a video that's supposed to be horizontal and you've got it vertical. You know, I just, I wouldn't do it. So right. you may, just by flipping it, you may gain extra viewers, more eyes, more people see your brand. And I think that's a crucial piece there. Uh, anything you want to add to vertical versus portrait, Michelle? The only place that it doesn't work is if you start a Facebook Live and you, no, try, you try to change midstream, it's going to turn your video sideways. So you have to start a Facebook Live in the landscape position. Otherwise, you're stuck. Are you Flip it before you hit the red button. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'll, because guys, the, once you hit the red button, it's live, meaning right. you can't change it. And how often have we scrolled and see somebody like this, you know? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what you see. And, you know, that's just not cool. <laughs> right, definitely. So we're going to talk, everyone, uh, we're about a couple more things about shooting video. But then also, Jeremy's going to show you where to find your YouTube channel. I still, as a trainer, get this question every single day. Where's my channel? I didn't know I had a channel. So we're going to make sure we explore that with you. But we what just is wrote it down. Yeah, All right, guys, so let's dive into uh, how about it. the apps? How about the apps, Michelle? Can we talk about the apps people use? Yes. You know, obviously, look, I, I'm still natively, I'm, I'm an iPhone guy still. So I, I believe that even use your camera app is an amazing tool. If you've got a newer iPhone, you can kick butt with that, with that just the standard camera app because the quality is just amazing. So you can shoot in that camera app all you want. Android, some of the new Android phones are pretty sweet too. And so, uh, I mean, you shoot in that, if that's more comfortable, shoot in that. And it records to your camera roll. And then you can use some extra tools and apps to edit those videos if you want to. Uh, some of the apps that I'm, I'm really, my go-to apps is obviously the camera tool, but I also use this call, one called Filmora Go, F-I-L-M-O-R-A-G-O. It's a great app editor. I think it's available on Android and iPhone. That's a cool one. Uh, I'm an iPhone user. I use iMovie for quick stuff, quick edits. So I just want to clip this. Maybe at the beginning of the video, I said something stupid and I don't want to include that. I would quickly, which happens a lot, Michelle, by the way. I don't know what's up with that. I'm but <laughs> I know, it, it, I'll clip that front end or I'll clip the back end off, um, you know, and make it look nice. And so I, it's not heavy, heavy editing, guys, but it gets the job done. Uh, another one of my favorites, a paid app, but it's one of my favorite editing tools because you can add overlays, you can add graphics, you can add text, and it's called KineMaster. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but it's K-I-N-E-M-A-S-T-E-R. I'm you just can putting, search for putting it in the chat box right now. Sweet. Yeah, KineMaster is an amazing tool, guys. It's got overlays. You can add audio behind. You can, you can actually do a walkthrough video of your tour and your property and then easily add a you know a, some music behind it some open source free music behind it so it, it actually looks really professional uh some cool tools you can do with that and another one you could try out is called quick q u i k um i'm not going to overdate you with apps guys because I, I truly believe that once you find one you like you won't ever need to use another app don't try to you know if michelle says hey I, i've got a great one to use if you're using one really really well right now don't switch, okay? That's my kind of go-to point. Don't keep trying to switch to different apps. You'll get frustrated. You know, right. use the one that works for you and keep going with it. Definitely, definitely. So one of the things that is, um, and you're, Jeremy's absolutely right on that, because like, for instance, I was looking for apps to remove the background and photo last night, and I came across, I don't know, dozens of them. And I tried three of them. I got frustrated with one, wanted to try another. And then I went back to the one that I was using in the first place because I thought there's got to be something better, right? There's, and that's where we can easily get distracted by all of that. You know, there's some, I don't know if you guys have used Canva at all, but if you have the, yeah. the pro version of Canva, oh my gosh, the tools they're adding in that thing, C-A-N-V-A.com, yes. you know, it's like $12 a month or something like that. But you can, it quickly removes background images, videos, um, you know, it's, it's pretty sweet what you can do with that, with that, just that extra $12 a month. If you do the pro account for Canva, um, yeah. that's kind of what I roll with. I think a lot of them do the free account. So we're going to talk about YouTube. And the reason we want to talk about YouTube, everyone is because <clears throat> currently on the Bouge websites, you cannot embed a video and you cannot upload an MP4 file. Your video must be hosted on YouTube or Vimeo. There is a third party, but we will tell you all day long, just for the sheer optimization, YouTube is the way to go. It's the number one search engine in the world. 
It's where everyone's going and he's going to show you where your channel exists right now. So, all right. So guys, here's the deal. You know, you have a Google account, a Gmail account, right? You know, you have to, number one, number one have to have in order to create a YouTube channel is a Gmail account. Okay. So if you don't have one, you're behind the times. If you have one, fantastic. You may already have a channel created and you didn't even know about it. Um, here's the deal, guys. If you just go up to, you go to youtube.com, and I'm going to do it with you here. You're going to go youtube.com. Who knows what's going to show up? I got three kids, so they watch a lot of stuff. I don't know what's going to show up. Um, <laughs> all right. So if you go up here to the top right, this is kind of your login or your profile button. So if you click that, then if you're already logged in, then it's going to say a couple things. It'll say create channel if you already don't have one. Uh, if you already have one, it'll say your channel, okay? Just simply walk through that as you create your own channel. It'll ask you for the name of your channel. And Michelle, any tips on naming their channel? So, I mean, a lot of you do this with your own, you put your own name for a domain name or your Facebook page, you name it yourself. So you can, it's usually tied specifically to your Gmail. It used to be the old, um, what was the old Google profile call that? Yeah, you know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you I, know I forgot it now. <laughs> See, it's so obscure, I don't even remember it anymore. <laughs> Google Plus, that was it. Yep, that is. But anyway, so it was tied to that username, but you can name it, like, definitely have your name, but include Remax in some capacity. And by the way, yeah. Remax is spelled in all caps and a slash, no <laughs> Put yeah, that. definitely. You know, I, my biggest suggestion is when we're creating accounts for our agents is your name. Because look, if, I, if, if I'm going out there and say, hey, just search Jeremy Collins on social media, I want them to find me, right? Yeah. So your name is a phenomenal, that's your brand. That's your, and your second, behind the, behind the stand, your Remax is your master brand. You are the brand of your individual business, right? So in my opinion, I would put, if I was starting a YouTube channel, it'd be Jeremy Collins, dad, or maybe a dash probably in between spaces, and then put rematch creative really. That would be my channel. Because uh, I want people to find me multiple ways. Right. All right. So I pulled up the channel, guys, and I'm actually going to go to my channel. Let's pretend I made a channel, right? And actually in Canva, by the way, you can actually search for YouTube, uh, put YouTube into the search bar in Canva, and there's tons of templates for YouTube channel art, Right. You just got to put your picture in there and save it. And now you have a channel art. Um, and that's what this thing up here is. So guys, look how easy this is to upload a video. Okay. I've got my channel. It's created. And now all you do is see this little video icon with the little plus symbol. You just click on it, upload video, a box is going to pop up and you can drag your video. I don't know if I've got a video on here. Let me see if I do. Uh, oh, I've got three screens happening here. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> let's go back here. Uh, so I don't think I've got, let me see if I've got a video. So let's don't go to, lost. no doubt. Uh, do I have a, oh, here's the MP4 file. Uh, this is getting out. Oh, this is an interview I did with, uh, uh, Mike Quavos, who's the real estate marketing dude guy. If you just drag it in here, it actually starts uploading. And That's then it actually says, Hey, what to do next? You actually give your video a title. Now I can tell, I literally, I, Michelle, I could talk about this for probably 45 minutes talking about SEO on YouTube. Right. I'm not going to do that because right. it would take forever. Right. But we, we need to get to bougie websites. I know. So we're going to put your title in, you put your description in, and then see this little link right here. This is your link you're going to use inside your bougie website. Okay. You can find that link a couple of different ways. I'm actually going to cancel this because I've, I've already uploaded this to my YouTube channel. Uh, all right, let's go back. Videos. Once it uploads, guys, you're going to be able to choose a video. So let's pretend this is the video I want to put on my Bouge page, right? So it's pretty simple. I've actually go here and I find this blue link. So I'm going to copy this blue link. Now I copy. Hey, while well, you're doing that, Jeremy, someone just asked, and we get asked this a lot, can they use a bomb bomb video? Unfortunately, you can't use even if it's a link from a bomb bomb video, it needs to be uploaded to YouTube or Vimeo at this time. Now I'm not uh, sure if any, not sure if there's any plans to integrate that, but yeah. Jeremy, you might be better than I. I don't know yet, but what I I've uploaded probably a I don't know, 50 videos, a bomb bomb videos onto my YouTube channel. So just go onto your bomb bomb account and then you can download that video and then just do what I did and upload to your YouTube channel. Then it's available. Um, 
you can actually make these, you can put unlisted videos too on your, uh, your Booz website too. So it doesn't have to be public videos. It could be unlisted as well. So I just copied that link right there, guys. And now do you want me to move into Booz? Absolutely. All right, guys. So what I did here, I'm going to kind of walk through it. I'm going to go to Booz and pull it up. And then I'll pull the other sheet up. So I'm logging into my Booz account, guys. And so let's just pretend I'm going to create a new page for my website. And we're going to call it uh, Video Testimonies. Okay, and that's a good one. Because obviously, if you can get some video testimonies from your clients, it's a game changer. You know, because I, I, I would look for videos for people uh, that would talk about how awesome Jeremy is. I mean, I, I've watched that. And so you would do. And that's what you really want to get. So, all right, so here we go. Website pages. So now this is going to take me to the directory of all the pages in my site. I'm going to go to add a page. I'm going to create a new page and we're going to call this video testimony. I can't spell today and I'm going to just skip it. Who cares? Uh, <laughs> description. Hey, look, I'm an East Kentucky boy. Sometimes I just can't spell. It's my, it's kind of one of my, uh, people make fun of me a lot and it just is what it is. I've, I've decided it's okay. Uh, and then description of the page, guys, it's important for SEO. Put the description here, guys, of the page. I'm just going to put people that love me, right, just as a sample. And I'm going to hit save. And so now it's going to ask me for this page. What in the heck are you going to do with this page? I'm going to put a header on it. Every web page you create in Bouge has to have a header on it. And that's what this is. Hero image. And I'm just going to put a, a Remax image in here real quick, guys. I just selected it. Let's drop a Remax image. Where the heck's are Remax images? At? I've got I've uploaded way too much stuff. You can search um, by name. <laughs> oh, here I found it. Yep, I could have searched up there and just searched by name, but I found what I want. Right. And I'm going to insert, and I'm going to call this my video page. Description, people that love me. And I'm going to save all right, so now I've got, I'm ready for it. I'm ready to put video into my page, right? So yeah. there's actually two blocks you can add into your Booz website that has video content. The first one, if we go to add a block, and I'm just going to go up to the top and I'm going to search video because I don't want to scroll. And there's the two options. We have video and video gallery. What the heck's the difference, Michelle? Well, that's where uh, everyone's asking those same questions. So you can have a single video or you can have what's what's similar to a slideshow of series of videos that could be uh, different videos about your area, could be yep. several of your listings. It's really up to you, but it's one versus multiple. All right. So guys, I've shown a demo here. Okay. I went and took this page and I inserted a video gallery block and I've inserted a video block. That's the two options. So let me go into the video gallery block. And what I did here is I added three different videos because I want to show these videos back to back to back and I want to show them as a gallery. Uh, these could, this would be great for if you have three or four video testimonies from, from clients. This would be a phenomenal place to put them in here. So let's go into the first one just to show what it looks like. So I just put test one and I copied. I'm going to go ahead and paste this one. And I paste the video link I took from YouTube and I hit save. So now that's one. I went and did another one and another one. Now look on the right hand side here. You see how the, the videos show at the bottom? It's that's a gallery. Now if I go to block details, there's a little feature here. I can change the look of my gallery. Okay. If I don't want those these buttons, these uh, these other video links to show up at the bottom, I can go up here to thumbnails and change the full width and look what happens. Those, the videos underneath that video went away and now I can scroll through the videos. That's the big difference guys. So it really depends on what, there's my booze news. Uh, it really depends on what you really want your website to look like is what you want to do. All right. So that is the video gallery block. The second block is just the video block, right? You have one video, that's all you want to show. And so that's this block. I'm going to scroll down. Let's just look at it. Can you tell the difference? Gallery is a lot bigger. It makes you really takes up the whole page. Um, and so you really clean and looks nice. 
the insert just the video is a lot smaller but you actually put some your your name here so i'm going to video see where it says test i can name this jeremy is amazing and you can put whatever you want right and so you can really as people scroll through your web page you can stop them and say oh yeah let's see why jeremy is amazing right and they click the video that's the key to this you want to keep people on your page long as possible right and there's a couple of reasons for that. Obviously, you want them to stay on your page longer because that's cool. But the secondary reason is because Google wants them to. The more you have people staying on your page. So, for example, if I sent Michelle a link to my website, all right, and Michelle went there, and I don't have any videos on my page. She scrolls, she scrolls, all right, I'm done, and she hops off, right? Hmm. Now I'm going to send my link to Eric. And this time, I actually put a video on there. So, Michelle was on my page for eight seconds, right? I wasn't very entertaining that day. And then she goes, uh, Eric goes to my page and I've got video content. Here's Eric. He's scrolling and he stops. Jeremy's amazing. All right, let me click and watch that. It's a two minute, 26 second video. Eric's going to definitely stay on my page longer just because he clicked the video. And what does that mean to you? Google looks at that and goes, oh, Jeremy's page is actually keeping people longer. So it must be important. It must be entertaining to people. It must be educational to people. So what happens to you? Your page gets ranked higher and higher on Google, Google searches, because Eric stayed on and watched longer videos. So what does that mean in general, guys? Video is key. It's just a key element, guys. You know, video will boost you up faster than pretty much anything SEO-wise because it keeps people on your page longer. All right, does that make sense? That did, I, did I explain that right, Michelle? Absolutely. Can we pause for a second? I'm actually yep. going to share while we're on this subject, a lot of you are probably thinking, what kind of videos do I put on my site? So I'm going to show you really quickly and then I'm going to turn it back over to Jeremy. Just some quick ideas on what you can do and the type of videos that you can put out there that are, that'll be actually really common. So that in some of these, there, here's some tips for them. So types of videos you can put out there is your story, your bio, I know everyone works hard on their Mac Center profile and you have the bio block on your website, but have you thought about putting yourself on video, talking about who you really are? And notice that I'm making a recommendation on the length of it. And Jeremy will talk more about length of videos and it depends on what the message is and who's seeing it. Yeah. So a bio or to get someone to uh, get their attention, it should really be no more than 30 seconds. The next type of video is a welcome message to your website, very similar to what you can do with your YouTube channel, where it's a channel trailer, you welcome them to your site, tell them what they can expect. Welcome to my website, allstaragent.com. On this website, you will find that you can search for properties in the Milwaukee area. Please let me know how I can help you. There's a contact button below. Thanks again for visiting my website. You know, something like that. Again, keep it short and sweet listings now notice i put listings with a purpose because we don't want you to just keep putting listing videos out there you can create a page and jeremy can show you how a yep. whole custom page that says how i market my properties or this is my property marketing plans and you could feature listing videos on there just to showcase what you've done in the past and this will really catch you can share that entire page with potential sellers client testimonials now it's funny because we like to use the word reviews. Now reviews are big on, and that's what typically will show up as the most popular search term. But these are actual testimonials or you get people on video. Jeremy talked about this. This is awesome. This is a great way to go. You know which of your clients you want to ask to do that and which ones you don't. We get it. Timing is everything. Don't yeah. go to your house when they're moving and they're frustrated and stressed out and trying to move stuff. But obviously find them at a, at a happy place. Um, a good place to get those are at client appreciation events. I know a lot of you have done that. Community or lifestyle videos, this could be just featuring your community. These type of videos will have a long shelf life, meaning you could use these for two or three years. Those can be a little bit longer. You can entitle them moving to Milwaukee, moving to Boston, moving to Katy, Texas, and just keep it real generic so then you can attract even more people that are looking to move to those areas. And you guys, community videos is, is kind of, is the crucial piece for YouTube. You know, right. YouTube is, is videos never go away on YouTube. So if you're looking for, you know, long standing lead generation uh, uh, videos, the long form videos, YouTube is a phenomenal platform for that. Definitely. And then just some other quick ideas. 
talk to other small business owners in your area, interview them on camera or let them provide you with their story and tag them and give them lots of credit and also take that video not to share on your website but share on social media and give them what they deserve especially right now a lot of small businesses are um they're they're suffering and they've been through a lot this year and for so many different reasons so this would be a great way to give them a boost you've got a big audience you have a big database that's a great way to go i mean what i would do right now michelle if i was if i was a full-time agent this is my gig here's what i'm doing yeah. I would right now create a page on my website called Community Spotlight, okay? That's what I would do. And awesome. on that, I would literally, every week, I would set up an, a Zoom interview and record it. And I, I would ask local business owners to jump on with me. And I want them to talk about their experience, talk about what's happening with their, their restaurant, talk about the specials they're offering, talk about anything but real estate, okay? Talk about it. And highlight that on your web page on your website. Right. And then, so then you're sharing, you have a link to that. You put it, the, you put it on YouTube, post the video onto your boost page, and then you share it out. Can you imagine the traffic you get? Because here's what's going to happen. You record the video with that business owner, that video, that business owner already has an audience, right? If they share that out, which I, I've yet found one yet that says, I'm not sharing that video out. They don't, they share it out. And yeah. so if they'll share your page out, it's a game changer for you. You literally have influence that they gave you. And so you're helping them out. They help you out. It works phenomenal. Right. You can create a page called the small business corner. You know, I mean, just something you are a small business owner yourself. So great tips, Jeremy. I'll go ahead and turn it back over to you and let's keep moving through on the um, ideas for video and where to place them. I think yep. we'll, and I'll, I'm going to take a quick look at questions too while you're doing Sounds that. Good. So let me find my screen here. Uh, share screen, share screen, share. Let us know yep. what your questions are. Here's a general YouTube question that sure. I can certainly answer and you can add to. So Nancy, hi Nancy, up in uh, Minnesota. Hello Nancy. Uh, she's asking, can I upload an agent's video to my YouTube channel, then use the link on an agent's bouge page? Well, you absolutely can. You can use that link anywhere you want on multiple websites if you want. Here's the thing though about YouTube. You can only upload a video once in its raw form. So if you take an MP4 file, you've just edited it, upload it to YouTube, you can't upload that to multiple YouTube channels. So once it's on yours, it needs to remain there or you would have to delete it. Now you can take an existing MP4 file, edit it a little bit, cut some at the end, cut some in the middle, that becomes a whole new video again in its raw form. So Jeremy, any other tips? On yeah, that? you know, it gives, you know, as an agent, I would want my content on my page, on my, on my channel. Right. Uh, because that gives you credit for it in the big SEO world, uh, search engine optimization world. So I want to make sure you get credit for that. So yeah. I, I would definitely put it on as my agent has an agent website. You know, maybe you're managing other agents. I don't know why that, what your, what situation you're in, but you know, your agent needs to have individual page and that video needs to go to on that uh, channel on that YouTube channel. So Nancy show this video, especially the part where Jeremy showed how to find your YouTube channel and upload a video, make sure all of your agents see this video so they can get started. Yeah. Uh, guys, just talking about Booz websites, actually, I'm going to show you one I haven't added a video to yet, but I just want to kind of quickly show you an example where I would put it, you know, on my page. So, for example, you should have a 30 second, and look, I get it, guys, you're an agent, you talk a lot. Uh, I, I, I work with you guys every day, I understand. Sometimes you just talk and talk and talk and talk, and guys, just cut it, you know, be short, sweet, simple, that's what they want. And so, this is a website, uh, one of my agents. Where if I was adding a 30 to under 30 second, hey, my name is Jana. You know, I'm not Jana, by the way. But hey, my name is Jana. Welcome. You know, blah, blah, blah. I would keep it under 20, 30 seconds. And I would place it, honestly, I would place it probably near the top fold. So if I'm scrolling, guys, I would yeah. either have it uh, above featured listing. I would refer to that in the video. So I would say something like, hey, I'm Jana, blah, 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 from Winchester, Kentucky, uh, blah, blah, blah. I would love to check out the feature listings below, right? You're, you're telling them to do something that's in the very front of the video. And then what they're going to do, they're going to scroll down and say, oh, yeah. And if you're a seller, guys, if, this, if you're, you're Jana and you have a seller and they go on your website and they see you promoting their property right below them, they get all gushy-eyed, oh, I'm so glad she's working for me, right? And so that's what you want them to feel. You want them to feel the warm fuzzies. So <laughs> make them do that. 
I've got three kids. I, I do warm fuzzies a lot. Um, but so I think that's a great place for a video, guys. Another good place for it is maybe way down here on the contact us. You, if I scroll down and see, a, oh, I need to fix that. There's not a contact for us form in this one, this bottom of this. But we're going to add a contact us form. And then above the contact us form, I would put a video saying, hey, now that you've already seen my page, here's the deal. Here's the next step for you to do. Fill the form out below. And I would, <laughs> yeah, that's a very simple step to do. And it gets people excited. And I want them to do something on it. Um, some more pay options, guys. Is cr we talked about this. Individual pages. Create a page talking about different communities. Create a page talking about uh, different property. You can even create a single, like a, a simple property uh, listing page just to talk about the listing. You can do whatever you want, guys. This, this website allowed you to. You know, what we had before, before Booz came, I'm not even going to talk about that because it was, you couldn't do it. It just is frustrating. As a web designer, you can actually do it here, guys. Um, and so I think if you follow the small, simple tips and do page by page, I mean, how cool would it be to have maybe a website with 15 pages on it and on every page, it was a video, 15 second video, right? People will stay on those pages at least 15 seconds longer. Sometimes maybe even three or four seconds longer. That's what you want. You want to engage the audience guys and videos where it's at. Well, and the key thing about that, Jeremy, I don't know if all of you noticed when he played those YouTube videos on his site, it didn't pop up in another window. It didn't send them to nope. YouTube. Now you can go to YouTube from there, but you can play the video right inside of that page. And that's what's really cool about it for sure. But yeah, that works out great. And you can hear the sound and everything. It's not like it's silent. Uh, it will play right inside of there. And what's, what's also really cool is because it's embedded uh, from a YouTube channel, if they want to see other videos you don't have in there, they just literally click right there and they start seeing them. I love the fact I didn't even know this until just now. Dang, I love learning new stuff. If you <laughs> highlight this, it actually pops up where the, I'm already subscribed to my channel, big surprise, but it actually, you can subscribe, people can subscribe to your channel right there. So if they do, then any video you add to your YouTube channel, they will get a notification about. Game changer, right? That's awesome. Yeah, that is, uh, that is definitely game changing. So let's take a couple questions and then we'll continue on with there's, we always have a lot to talk about, but it I, looks know. Like, I know it's good. So can't Brad, get me and Michelle can, together anymore. We cause big problems. <laughs> we do. I can't wait till we actually get to meet in person. That'll be even fun. We're going to do it. That's All right, right. Questions. What we got? All right. So we got some of my videos are disappearing and I have a support ticket. No answer. Have you heard about that happening? Yeah, I have. And you know, the only way I'm able to fix that. And, and I don't know if you tried this, it seems like you probably have, but you go in there and I've actually had the same issue It's a couple of weeks ago. I had that issue, but not, not recently. And I do a lot of video or a lot of website editing for agents. Delete the block, log out, then log back in. And I've had no problems with my video staying up there. The video block, I'm hoping that's what you're talking about is the video block. Um, and that's the case. I'm able to just delete the block, log completely out of my account, and log completely back in. And I would actually even log out of remax.net. So I would log out of the Mac Center and log out of Bouge and then log back in. And usually my stuff stays. So I, maybe it was a little bug. Who knows? Right. And there's been some, there have been some bugs with the preview windows. So if you're looking at yep. it there, and you're not seeing it, try going again to the live side. But Jeremy's right. If you just log out and refresh, sometimes that's what you have to do. I know that Bouge is working hard to try to get those fixes to happen. So you're going to run into that. So before you put in a ticket, like you said, close, close Mac Center. If you want to close Chrome altogether, give it a couple minutes, then go back in. And then that may help avoid those issues for sure. So let's see. Um, Brad said, I tried a different video block and it's still not working. So, hmm. interesting. Yeah, tr try what we mentioned. I mean, even restart your computer. <laughs> yeah, I just, I mean, I was able, I just not did this just about five minutes ago, guys. I was able to just add my videos and keep adding them and it worked ahead. So, um, now hopefully, let me, some booze tips here, <laughs> major booze tips. Make sure you're using Chrome. Uh, I've never had hardly any, I have a lot less problems when I use Chrome. And even better, I'm going to share my screen to show you guys how to do this. Uh, pop it back up, share. If you pull up your Chrome window, where's my mouse? There it is. On the right-hand side, there'll be this little arrow. Mine's got a little exclamation mark. I don't know why, but it wants me to do something. And you scroll down here to new incognito window. 
if you use that and do all your editing and all that stuff inside of there, you'll have a lot less problems. At least that's my opinion of it. Yeah, incognito is my best friend, especially for those of you that are managers or team leaders. And if you're trying to log into other Mac Center accounts to help your team members or agents, you definitely have to use the incognito window because you're if you stay on your Chrome, it's just the system gets really confused. And you you'll get confused, so it's a, it's the best way to get in for sure. Now Brad said he's been he's added forty videos. Brad, you're gonna send me your link to your website because wow. I want to see it because paste I am stoked here. that you're doing that. Yeah, paste it right here, Brad. We'd love. You're the man. Time. Good job, buddy. So James says I'm looking to add videos to my site teaching the consumers about using it. Good idea. Should I create a separate page for all? What do you think? What do you think, Jeremy? You know, here's what I would do. I would create a separate page and call it uh, uh, "How to Use My Site." Right. And yep. then you go into the site and there's where you can create a carousel of your different videos, you know, title them differently and, you know, show them, do a bomb bomb a screen share video or do a screen share video. You have there's different options you can do there and actually walk through them, creating an account, walk them through uh, searching for properties, walk them through saving the properties that right there is four or five videos that you would kick some butt with. I love that. Fantastic. idea. I, that's a great idea. We're going to steal that. But uh, the other thing, in case all of you haven't played around with Bouge websites or Remax.com since all of this transition, you can search by school district, you can search by county. It's very intuitive. You can type yep. in just about any keyword that you want to type in, rather than just an address. So that's that's awesome idea, I think for sure. Um, th that's fantastic. I see this so, question. It says, "What if they already have? If already someone has the else's? Oh, blah, 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 I can't speak today. What if they already has someone else's lead before they came to your site? Uh, here's the deal, guys. They're on your website. Yeah. And so it will actually. Let's say, for example, uh, Michelle visits my website and she makes me the preferred agent. Okay. I'm the her preferred agent. Now, I'm not. I'm ghosting her. I'm not talking to her anymore. Right. So Michelle <laughs> goes on to Eric's, who's another agent. Remax agent's website, and she starts looking for properties. You, Eric, will get that notification. And actually, if she chooses Eric to be the preferred agent now, guess what happens? I get a notification that Michelle kicked me to the curb. Right. And I'm like, what the heck? So <laughs> I know. That's, I don't want to get fired, but that's what happens. <laughs> Your website is yours. Promote it any way you want. No, definitely. One quick note really on, uh, it was James about teaching clients to use your website, which I think is still an awesome idea. My Love brain it. is going crazy right now. There is a block on your website that talks about the account benefits. I've actually had a lot of conversations with agents about this because I don't think a consumer would understand what that means. Just so you know, you can go into your navigation menu items and you can rename what the actual menu item is. So if, if account benefits is not what you like, maybe you could put how to sign up for an account like you can and jeremy's going to show you right now how to rename those navigation tabs so if you want to keep there it simple um, but you can this will talk to a consumer about what are the benefits of registering of having an account on any of the remax websites but he's going to show you where to go to find those navigation items i'm going to try to show you where it goes um, yep i think i've confused my computer oh there it goes yeah. uh so you go to website navigation Edit. Oh, I did it wrong, didn't I? Page details. There it is. I would change it there. Is that something? Is that, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. But that's where I would change that. So if you go to, so go to navigation again. Mm -hmm. Go back. Go back to where you were. You may teach me something here. I'm gonna I hit exit there. So give it a second. Yeah, All right. So we go to okay. website navigation. navigation. Now find on the right. So the right hand side, everyone, is what's active on your site. So if you don't have the one that says account benefits, you might have deleted it accidentally. Oh my, here it is. Here it is. So click on edit there, and you can rename. There it is. Tab. Yeah. So that's how you do it. So it could be how to register for an account, why register for an account, or something like that. Because they may not understand that. They're like, what does that mean? Do I have to buy a home if I sign up here? And so yeah. What, yeah, so they, I mean, there is like you could do the same thing for the home evaluations thing, I think, right? Let me make sure. You yep. can, yep, absolutely. Any of the custom pages that Booge created for you, you can edit the name there, guys. That's good, awesome. Good tip. Good, yep, yeah, for sure. So Brad actually provided his domain. Would you mind clicking on it? It's in the chat. Yeah, let's do it. Let me find let's it here. It's in the, is it in the Colorado, chat area? Colorado Springs. Uh, is that? Uh, let me see. Sure there Where do you put it at? You put it in uh, the Q&A box. Oh, Q&A. Yep. Oh, there it is. Yay. 
Uh, I can't copy it. What the heck? Cholera, come on, Zoom. Colorado Springs Realtor.com. Let's try. Yeah. Dude, I'm going to feature you here. <laughs> so he actually provided a page where he's giving getting the issues and you have. Now, there could be such a thing as too much video on one page. We're not trying there to. There is. We're not trying to discourage you in any way, Brad, because we're so proud and we're excited about that. But 12 seems extreme. Oh, uh, I typed in it wrong, didn't I? Colorado mm -hmm. Springs. Yeah, is there a typo in this, Brad? Because it says real. Uh, I typed it like I would have typed it, ColoradoSpringsRealtor.com. Yeah. But maybe not. We'll let Brad get back to us on that one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let us know. But he did, did you, are you able to click on the second link where he provided the 12? Mm. Okay. Oh, no, I can't click, I can't copy stuff. It's goofy. All right. Meanwhile, I see James is commenting. He started working on his site this morning. That's why you asked about BombBomb. Well, hey, everyone's asking, just so you know, we, the BombBomb integration in the CRM portion is fantastic. Yes, we it is. Love, we'd love to have that on the website. So stay tuned. Thanks for your excitement. All right, so let's- I tried to bring it up, but still didn't bring it up. So, oh, well, we tried. We tried to highlight you, buddy. I just couldn't get to work. My bad. Right, right. No, for sure. So Paul is asking a question. Do you know if Remax is going to send out trainers out in the field to help those of you that are technically challenges booze up and running uh, well we're all on a travel ban right now paula so i'm truly truly sorry right now that we can't be there to because believe me i love that the, the agents in my region know and all of you know that i'm all about helping with the hands-on we're just not able to do that right now it's still not the environment for that so i'm so sorry again we still recommend you just Learn as you go. When you need to use a feature, when you want to learn a feature, go to Remax University and check out the videos there in small segments. It's going to be your best approach. I would definitely make sure you have your contacts imported into your CRM. Make sure your website just has some basics. There's literally content already on there when you get ready to set up that you can just publish your website and be done with it. And then you can promote it. So you can generate leads off of it. You don't have to overcomplicate it. I know she's also making a comment about features are still coming. No doubt about it. Jeremy. Oh yeah, they're rolling. I've got, yeah. I've got probably a list of 15 features that's coming really soon uh, yeah. that I'm not gonna, I can't really say yet because I don't have exact dates and all that stuff yet, but there's some big stuff coming guys. Uh, if you haven't noticed, there's a little, there's a little sync button that's coming. It actually popped up on some people's accounts under the CRM. Um, there, it's coming. Stuff is coming. Um, right. It's just, uh, you know, I think by the end of the second quarter, you're going to see some big stuff happening. Right, which is just the end of this month. So we've got yep. our fingers crossed. Camp drip campaigns, newsletters. I know you're all yep. some big stuff. So hey, I want to show you guys real quick because I've had so many people ask about bonbon bon real quick. So let me show you how you can once you record your bonbon bon video, guys. You can go right here to this down arrow go down to embed and then come on load scroll down you see that link right there it says download video you can actually click on that i'm gonna hey oh, that's me that's my video to michelle i think uh and then you hit download and then you can save that to your computer guys and then you can upload it to youtube definitely so there's a question uh let's see uh james is also asking do you know how to remove items from the drop down menu. Well, yes, we do. Jeremy will show you, but I must hop on to it now. Understand that it's permanent if you do. So it depends on what you want to yep. do. <laughs> so you got to be careful about that. And there and there are ways you can get it back. You'll have to put in a support ticket, but we can show you some little tips. So if you so any of those pages before you delete so, any of these items. Yeah, you want to Yeah, show so let's them? remember I'm going to remove let me find something I can remove. Uh, actually, let's do this. Uh, let's pretend this test page and let's bring this test page over. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've got this page on menu, guys. There's a couple different things you can do here. You can drag it back. Oh, it used to let me do that. Let me see if it lets me do it still. It's right. really finicky sometimes. There it is. Yeah. I was able to drag it over and now it's not on your menu anymore. And so it's removed there. Um, or I could actually, I think this is the one I created today. And it, I think that's it, right? Is that, is there another way? On, is there a different way on how I remove it? So there is. So here's the thing: if you create the page, then you can move it back and forth. If it's a Remax provided menu item, such as home value estimates, 
which I've had some of you ask me to remove that, <laughs> which I, I don't recommend, but I no, guess. No, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. But here's the thing. So click on where it says edit, Jeremy. So if you want to remove one of these items, here's what I recommend you do. See that link, the link URL for that page? Copy that entire URL and put it on a Google Doc. Save it somewhere. You will not lose it. And that way, if you ever want to bring back the home value estimates page, you can throw it back in there, you rebuild a menu item and add that URL and it'll take them directly to that. Um, uh, that's just an example of what you can do. So James, let us know if that answers your question. He said he made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to all of us, James. It happens, yeah. So if you can't get a page back, you delete it. You're not sure what to do. You are gonna have to put in a ticket to support for sure. Uh, Tim is asking, can we delete pictures and videos from the image library in Bouge? I know the answer, but I'll let you answer too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, but uh, uh, you can't. I mean, don't don't do it. Just leave them in there, guys. Uh, you know, I, I don't actually. That's the first. You know, it's weird. I've never had that question before, Michelle. I've actually been doing this tons of trainings. I've never been asked, "Can I get rid of stuff?" Well, I was told you can't delete it by the Remax LLC training team. Oh, maybe it's, now I was early into it, so let me see. If you know a way, let me know because I accidentally I was helping a broker with. You a add a whole bunch of pictures into it. I accidentally put the couple of the wrong pictures into a broker's website. So I think uh, that's a great, let me follow up with that one because I think that they were working on that fix. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll is, get back to everybody on that one. Yeah, it is coming for sure. So, um, but yeah, and so keep an eye out for that. That's, I know that's not on the priority list compared to drip no. camp and other things, <laughs> but <laughs> for sure. I do know I saw it on the list though. So and at one point in time, I had access to it. So maybe I don't anymore. So they're working on it. Good, good answer though. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks everyone for your questions. Keep them coming. We have just a, a few minutes to go. We don't get Jeremy very often. I'm so grateful and uh, we always have so much fun and I'm sure- we're I love to come out. As long as you guys let me hang out, I'm, I'm glad to hang out anytime. Awesome. We appreciate it. Looks like, and shout out to the Facebook live audience, by the way. Hey guys, let us know if you have any questions out there. Denise wants to know if this is being recorded. Yes, it is. Um, I'm checking the other comments. Hello, Bonnie, in Minnesota. I see you. Hopefully you can hear me. Yeah, James, if you upload your own. Jeremy, you cut out a little bit. You Jeremy, see me now? Oh, yeah, you're, I can hear you now. Okay, uh, can you use my pictures that I added? And you're right, only only you have access to those those images that you add to your Booz account. Definitely. All right, let's see. So Sean says, I really like the ideas for what to make videos about. You're very welcome because I know that you all struggle with that because you see the same things all the time on social media. Here's my latest listing. And I'll tell you what, here's my best video tip for the day. Please, please move away from video slideshows of pictures and do actual walkthrough video. Look at Jeremy. Jeremy, talk to everyone about stabilizers and great ways to do. Yeah, let me, let me grab one. Hold on. All right, cool. I knew he'd have a gadget sitting right there. I got gadgets. I got everything. Uh, here's an option here, guys. I bought this thing for like five bucks. This was a cheap, cheap buy. Nice. Uh, it's basically an iPhone stance. The tripod stand, really cheap, one dollar. It was like I think I paid like eight dollars for this thing, and it's got the <laughs> iPhone on the top. It's great for office videos. I've always had mine sitting right here by my desk, and when every time I want to do a video, I'll throw my phone up there and I'll just record. Uh, if I'm out in the field, I will actually use. Let me find it here. Here it is. If I'm out in the field, I will use one of these. This is I think this was like eighty nine, eighty five dollars. I don't know something like that. And this was a, this one's called a ZY. Uh, it's a quick stabilizer, guys. I throw my iPhone on there, and I can move it around. It keeps everything stable. That way, I don't look all funky when I'm walking through houses or doing house videos. Um, I mean, literally, I'm shooting house complete professional house videos with my iPhone. In this, it's kind of crazy. We live in that world where you know we don't have to have five, six thousand. And we have a actually, think about it, we have a thousand dollar camera. It's our phone. <laughs> um, but we don't have to have the really, really, really nice cameras to do these videos, guys, that people want to watch. I think the big key we didn't even mention today, Michelle, was do you have to be professional videos? Heck yeah. no. They yeah. want to see you. You are the brand. You know, be yourself. You know, I say stupid stuff all the time. And actually, those videos work out the best. And they get the most attention. 
And so, you know, be yourself. Uh, stumble on stuff. Say um a couple hundred times. You know, it's okay. Definitely. So let's kind of close this out, which is something that's super important when it comes to getting your website found, but more specifically your video content. So Jeremy, could you kind of explain a little bit what's happening on this screen and yep. why they should optimize their pages and more specifically on page SEO for videos. And I've got yeah. some examples here. So guys, here's the deal. You know, you want to, and I, I would do this as I'm building my site, because what will happen guys, if you don't do this, you have to go all the way back through every single page in your site and try to come up with these words and these key terms and stuff like that. So if you look right there into page detail, you'll see on the screen there, page details, that's where you access all your SEO information. The stuff that Google's going to see, the stuff that Yahoo's going to see, right? So you're always gonna, after you work on the page, before you hit publish or exit, go up there to that and hit page detail. And what that's gonna do is come with the different options for you. The stuff that Google really doesn't see too much, they see the title, but the, 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 you're gonna put your title of your page, some of the people is gonna make sense there, right? And you're gonna put your description in. Uh, this is not keywords. You know, this is actual a paragraph description of your page, right? So if you're, you're telling somebody about the page, how would you describe that page? That's what I would put in the description. Um, you wanna, I'm gonna let you share your screen and then yeah. if you could show everybody where to find that. Yep. And I just wanna, I have conversations with a lot of you about this. As you saw, there were tips. When it comes to the meta title, uh, then it's 55 characters or less per Google's recommendations. Description, 155 characters, including spaces, according to Google. But the one thing I've had a lot of you ask me is, do I, can I just optimize the homepage and then copy and paste that on every single page on the website? The answer is you really shouldn't because you want to be noted. Did you notice in that description we had in their video, we had the word video and someone might just happen to type in someday. I want to view home videos. Or I want to yep. view homes for sale on video. So he's going to go to any, you have to go inside of a page. You have to uh, let me go into one. I've actually got published so we can yep. kind of go into it. Whether it's the home page or the, uh, let's say you created a video gallery page like Jeremy's been talking about. Let's do. You just go into see. edit of the edit. page itself. Oh, yeah, go to, just go to one of your pages. So one on the I actually create a page on. Uh, let's do this one, I think. Yeah, left side of your screen there. Go to one of those pages and click edit. I'm sorry, go, go to pages, go to website and pages. So exit out of here, your screen's kind of frozen. So website and pages. Come on, and, baby. Yeah, it's styled up, it's, isn't it? It's, so I'm hitting edit, but it's not loading in, so I'm not sure what's up with it. We're almost done, everyone. Oh, and there we go. Okay, so I went into a page. Can you guys see this? It says it's slow, there we go. Okay. So I went in here to hit page detail. And so on this one, you would actually put the title of the page, the slug, and if it's a video page, lots of video content on here, guys, be sure to use the word video because people actually search that. That's actually one of the high keyword searches nowadays. So yeah. be sure to add that in there. Uh, page title, you know, I would put video testimonies here if this is a video testimony page. And the obviously the meta description tag, you're, you can have, I think what I'm using to put 30 on my page. I don't know what you guys usually put on yours, but anywhere from 50, works great yes and by the way if you go more than 55 characters it'll be cut off and you'll see the three little ellipses the dots now keep in mind the mobile experience everything needs to be short anyway <laughs> right yep <laughs> okay cool so i don't see any questions from the facebook audience last call for questions and while we're looking at that jeremy final words of advice on video and your bouge website Yeah, here's the deal, guys. Uh, in my opinion, just do it. And isn't that the Nike? Am I getting in trouble for that? Can I get in trouble for copyrighting that? I don't know if I can. Um, just do it. It's just the key. You know, go today, right after this video is over, pull out your cell phone, turn it vertical, right? And then I want you landscape. to talk. Horizontal. That's right. Land. I said, yeah, it's, yeah landscape, vertical. Uh, no, <laughs> horizontal. Dag on it. You messed. I've all messed up today. <laughs> horizontal. You guys get what I mean. And you turn it sideways, I want you to start shooting. I want you to talk about yourself. I want you to talk about the community you live in. I want to talk about the house that you love, your favorite features of a house. I just want you to talk, practice. Your camera roll should be full of videos in the next 15, 20 minutes, right? Pick one and post it. It's really not that hard, you can do it. And look, 
I've had people talk bad about me, say, oh, Jeremy, what are you crap you're doing? But I've also had so many more people say that was awesome. You know, share your, right now is a phenomenal opportunity, guys, to share your heart. You know, love on people. It's a great opportunity for that. So just go do it, right? Right, for sure. All right, any more questions? Looks like we're gonna, it's a wrap. So we are closing out this Bouge, uh, Building Your Business with Bouge series for today. And it was great talking with you, Jeremy. Thank you so much. I think everyone got some awesome takeaways from the session. We'll be back next week. We're focusing, we're shifting every other week from CRM to website. And we'll be back next week and I'll have another special guest most likely. All right. Awesome. Take care guys. Have a good one. Thank you.